Welcome to Kaplan Morgan's Wargamers channel and I hope you like and enjoy the video content I put out. If you do, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell button to keep up to date with all, all my latest videos. Uh, and also subscribe if you want to. Uh, Today is my q and A. I've got a few questions here, so without further ado, let's get into them. First one's from Kizman, and he, he asks, have you any plans for competitive play in the future? Well, I'd go to a lot of competitions. This year's been a bit thing because of COVID, but yeah, if, if I can get a competition in this year, I'll go. Uh, but yeah, next year, definitely, and it'll probably be bought walks, so I might take Space Force for one, uh, just because I, I, they've been doing quite well for me recently, and they look quite in a decent place at the moment, but I'll wait until the new codexes and everything drop and see how they play after that. Hope that answers your question. Alex attempts tabletop. Great set of questions. I have two questions, one hobby, one personal. If you had to start I, I, Age of Sigma, what would you collect? Uh, well, for me, I've got Night Haunts over there because of some uh, uh, plays the uh, Law one here. Yeah, he's got the Griffins and the. the uh, lower line ones, I can't remember what they're called, but I, uh, I did be Age of Sigma magazines, and we've got a few models from them, and we'll probably buy the same bo box set for that to ca ca improve on that. The second one was, uh, I you have a fast musical taste what's your favorite band well i like ramstein iron maiden acdc guns and roses black sabbath metallica but probably out of that lot uh maiden iron maiden and uh dance of death and murder in the room morgue two two favorite songs from as i hope that Answers the question. The miniature painter. I've, I've got a question for you. Are you into sci fi and Star Trek like the almighty Nick? Uh, Nick, HHB 40k. Uh, yeah, I I do like sci fi. I love sci fi. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do like Star Trek. I'm not like Nick. Uh, who's an average fan but I do like it uh, I like uh, not a big huge, huge fan of Star Wars but Battlestar Star Galactica the Stargate series I, I really enjoyed uh, but yeah anything sci-fi really uh, I, I, I'm into uh, was I used to read a hell of a lot when I was younger, uh, not, not so much now. Hope that answers your question. Russian Quill. Great to know you better. Very nice and all our answers for next. For next time, do you prefer to play a challenging player or a really nice looking themed army more? Well, it's always nice to, to watch, to have a really nice themed army against you, but I I think for me I like to be challenged and I the toughest toughest players and the best players is what I like to play because it improves my your game, it improves your knowledge of the game and for me uh, I I'd love to 
it's been four, just four weeks with Nick Nanabanti playing solidly, do about 50, 60 games, and he would probably win most of them, but I would, I would eventually take a game. And once I've got a player's measure, I usually never lose to them again. Hope that helps. Idiot Spear, my mighty Nick. Great answers, thanks mate. Now I know that you like a challenge. So are you not worried if the Necrons get amazing rules? But on the whole, how scary do you think the army is going to get and do you think it will go by the way say once all new minis are out and you got you concentrate on other factions and codexes for night uh, I'm loving the look of a new range of Necrons but they look awesome uh, I, I, I think they'll be in a re reasonably good place uh, especially in the hands of good players. Uh, but it will be down to what comes up after. And if it's like eight, as the codexes went on, the, the later codexes got better and better. But I think they will be tough. And it really depends on that reanimation. If, if you get a, a reanimation rule that allows you to, to roll for it once, and even if an army is, a unit is white, and you, you can get them back up on the five plus, I think that makes Necrons a hell of a lot stronger. And then you are gonna be in a good place for a long time to come, but we'll see what they've done with reanimation. If I'd left it as it was in like eight, uh, I don't think it's going to work and I don't think it helps the neck ones out that much, even with the new models. Uh, so modeling for an advantage. So you want to go back to Dixie, uh, a reference to one of my previous answers in the uh, earlier Q and A's. Yeah, I would love to go back to Dixie. Uh, if you check out my uh, playlist on my, uh, I've, I've got uh, Dixieland on there. Uh, from a reenactment one, and then uh, I suppose it's where, where the heart is, uh, sort of. So that's what I think. Uh, I hope it helps. Next, I've got one from D Stonks 33. With what you've seen and heard on ninth edition. Which armies do you think will be top tier? Do you think Necrons will be up there? And which army will you mainly play in tournaments? Well, the ones I'll put mainly play in tournaments will be Orcs because I'm just still learning Orcs and, and I want to get to know, know the army uh, better. Uh, and I'm going to do this in though these aren't listed necessarily in my uh, in the order I think they'll be but I'm going to say Space Marines faction dependent but uh, Ultramarines, Iron Hands, uh, Salamanders uh, possibly even Space Force having played them and seen that uh, White Scars but those sort of factions are definitely going to be be up, up there Necrons Possibly in that top 10, 
not sure it depends really on reanimation and it might be a, a build specific like in h but certain builds will do better for them death guard i see death guard being being strong custodes again they're really durable uh, and fast crafter out out elder there again they are really good orcs admech Tyranids, Tau and Harlequins. Tau is going to have to change. It is not going to be a castle just sitting there anymore. But I think they can still be quite competitive. Hope that answers your questions. And I had another one from Russian Quill the other day. And it was why Space Force? And have you always collected them? No, I haven't always collected them. I I, I got my Eldar, I got uh, some Harlequins uh, and I was looking at a, another army and I did my Thousand Sons and I was looking at another army uh, and I thought, well, I don't particularly like Space Marines so, but I wanted a Space Marines army so the least Space Marine was Space Wars and they suited my sort of style. They were more Viking-ish and they're in your face. So uh, that's why I chose Space Wars. Uh, and no, I haven't always collected them, but my Space Wars collection has grown with the Primaris and bits. Love my Wolf and uh, they're, I'm looking at Landstorm land speeder storms and and the outriders uh, specifically from the indomitus the, the the outriders from indomitus look a good addition so do the uh blade guard veteran they they look like they might be a really good addition along with the uh, eliminators and i can't wait for that uh, abt the all-terrain vehicle truck to come out with a mount on multi mount on that that looks awesome and I will be doing that, getting that as a goal of them as well, maybe. So, um, but I hope that answers your questions. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll catch you on the flip side.